Welcome! In this third video about the music for It Takes Two, I want to dedicate it completely to one single instrument, the pipe organ. In the music level of the game, uh, in the end you're actually running around in the biggest pipe organ known to man. And um, it's actually uh, the pipes go over the clouds and it's super big. So we knew that we need to have a really cool uh, organ instrument here. So me, Gustav Grefberg and the head of audio, Philip Eriksson, went to Ljusdal and uh, recorded this awesome organ. One really important person in this process was my father, Lennart, who is an organist, and um, he made all the registers. It's called that. It's, uh, we could, should maybe call it patches for, for the organ. And um, and so we can go from the soft part to the maximum. But not only that, we had uh, seven different uh, microphone positions. So what we hear now is the front. The surround. And we have uh, my father's lovely Neumann U47 inside the organ. So this is how the organ so sounds inside. Far away. And of course all the lovely uh, registers like um, one of my favorite, the uh, Corno. I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. I, I can use this for so much more than just an organ, like a... And we have the lovely flutes. And the gamba. And after that we also have, of course, all the pedals. First the plenum pedal. And we have the sub bass. And all of the uh, registers at once. For me, I, I, I absolutely adore this instrument. It's, it, feel, it really feels like uh, sitting there. So why does it sound so good? Of course it has to do a lot with the recordings, but also uh, it's the programming that has been done after. We are using the Elias sampler. So let's talk with one of the people behind this, my co-founder for the Elias company and my dear friend, Mr. Philip Benefal. Hello, Philip. Hi, how's it going? Fine, thank you. How are you? I'm well. I'm uh, drinking coffee and writing code. As you should. Yeah. <laughs> Why does this organ sound so awesome? Well, I think there are a few reasons. Um, one of which is um, uh, an algorithm that we're using that we call volume audible scaling. And that basically means that when you're playing a note and you want the release sample, for example, to be triggered, um, you want it to be at the exact same volume 
as the thing that you're actually listening to right at the moment when you release the key. So um, when you release the key, it automatically matches the amplitude envelope uh, of the two signals. And this happens as you're playing live. So what, what that results in is that you never really have a jump. Like you don't hear like the sucking effect that you get with some release samples, um, you know, where it, it just doesn't match and you can tell like it, it's choppy and this avoids all of that. Yeah, uh, I really love that feature. And it's really hard to go back to uh, old libraries <laughs> when, you, when you get used to this. It just sounds like a real instrument. Yeah, it re really does. And also, I think the coolest thing that you could actually use this uh, within the game. Yeah, certainly. I mean, uh, that's something that we worked really hard on as well, is the fact that you know when you're in a game, you're operating within a small, small portion of the total CPU that is available. So there are a lot of, of things that, that we do under the hood to make sure that we are uh, staying consistent in terms of our performance, um, as well as making it so that you can never hear, even though you might be close to the performance ceiling. Uh, I'm so glad you could stop by and have a little chat about this sampler. Yeah, of course. I'm going to go back to writing code and drinking coffee. Yeah, as you should. Take care. Yeah. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed these three videos and stay tuned for, for upcoming tutorials about adaptive game music and so on. And meanwhile, uh, be sure to check out the Spotify release for the music for It Takes Two. Thank you and take care. Mm -hmm.